Hello and welcome back everyone. Welcome to Shobhik Biology Tutorial. In this video, I am discussing about important multiple choice questions from migratory behavior which is in syllabus of West Bengal School Service Commission SLST Biology PG. Now the first question from migratory behavior is the study of bird migration is known as the study of bird migration is known as ornithology, oology, phenology, nidology. Before knowing the answer, we have to know first the meaning of this four terminology. Ornithology means study of birds. Okay. Study of birds is ornithology. Oology means study of eggs. Okay. Study of eggs are known as oology. Next, nidology. Nidology means study of nest of birds. Nest. Okay. And the rest is phenology. And the phenology means study of migration. So here question is study of bird migration. So answer is phenology. Next question. Migration of birds is cheaply controlled by shelter, food urge, amount of light, temperature differences. Remember here question asks migration of birds is cheaply controlled. Okay, remember this term cheaply controlled by. So the right answer is here temperature differences. Okay, next question. Which of these birds builds its nest outside India? Crow, red vented bulbul, cuckoo, wagtail. Right answer is cuckoo. Okay. Next question. The largest flying bird is ostrich, albatross, dodo, penguin. This ostrich, dodo, penguin, these three are examples of ratiti. And albatross, this is the example of carinati. If you don't know the differences between ratiti and carinati, you can check my video regarding this differences between ratiti and carinati. I will give you the link in description and i button. Remember th here the answer the largest flying bird is albatross and this albatross they are able to travel 10,000 miles 10,000 miles in a single journey okay in a single journey this is r okay and the right answer is albatross the largest flying bird is albatross and this uh, these are which can travel 10000 miles in a single journey okay and importantly this you have to know this albatross is the oceanic bird next question during migration, birds determine compass direction using land marking and water bodies, water bodies and mountains, mountains and landmarks and celestial bodies. So right answer is celestial bodies. Now what is what are celestial bodies? You have to know celestial bodies are the natural body. Okay, this is R. Okay, natural body. Outside of Earth atmosphere. I am again repeating this. Celestial bodies are the natural bodies outside of Earth atmosphere. What are the examples of celestial bodies? Sun, 
moon, star, etc. So during migration, birds determine compass direction using this sun, moon, stars, etc. Okay. Next question: Power of young birds to return to their original ground of their parent. So this is very very important question. Okay, this is very very important question. Power of young birds to return to their original ground of their parent. So conditioned reflex, intelligence, intuition, and instinct. Remember, power of young birds to return to their original ground of their parent. So instinct, and this is more specifically known as homing instinct. Okay, this is more specifically known as homing instinct. Okay, so the right answer is here instinct. Next, anadromous fishes move from to fresh water from sea, from sea to estuary, from river to sea, from estuary to sea. Right answer is anadromous fishes move to fresh water from sea, and they move to fresh water from sea for spawning. Okay, and the example of anadromous fishes are hilsa elisa, salmon, etc. Okay, hilsa. Hilsa species, salmon, that means the example of salmon, salmo species, okay. So these are the example of anadromous fishes. Next question, the famous catadromous fish in India, salmo, salmo, scientific name of salmon is salmo. Hilsa, Rohu, Il. Catadromous fish. Next question, if you see, catadromous fish moves to fresh water from sea, from sea to estuary, from river to sea, from estuary to sea. As we have already seen, this anadromous fish move to fresh water from sea, and the catadromous fish moves from river to sea for spawning. Okay, for spawning, this catadromous fish move from river to sea. And what are the example of catadromous fish? Comes to the next question. This question, the previous question, the famous catadromous fish in India. So the example of catadromous fish, common eel, which is anguilla anguilla, and Indian eel. Which is also known as Indian mottled Indian mottled eel. Okay, I am telling this question: the famous catadromous fish in India. Here only option is eel. The original example of catadromous fish in India is Indian mottled eel. Okay, the scientific name of Indian mottled eel is Indian mottled eel. Scientific name is you have to know Anguilla bengalensis. Anguilla bengalensis, bengalensis. Okay, this eel is found in East India. Okay, and the scientific name Anguilla bengalensis bengalensis. This is the subspecies which is found in India. So here, the famous catadromous fish in India is eel, which is Indian mottled eel, and the scientific name Anguilla bengalensis bengalensis. If you see the examples of other examples, salmo, hilsa. We have already seen these are the example of anadromous salmo, hilsa, 
and rohu this is these are the examples of potamodromous species potamodromous species okay now what are potamodromous migration here fish live and migrate within fresh water okay i am again repeating this potamodromous migration means here fishes live and migrate within fresh water only and the examples are examples are carps this carps example is rohu so this is the example of potamodromous migration these two are anadromous migration and famous catadromous fish in india is eel okay this is the example of catadromous migration and cata catadromous fishes moves i have already told from river to sea okay and the next question which of the following bird is famous migratory bird in india wagtail goose moyna actually the spelling of moyna is m y n a okay moyna right answer is arctic tern arctic tern is famous migratory bird in india why because this arctic tern flies from arctic region to antarctic region and back again each year okay from arctic region to antarctic region they can travel and the minimum distance they cover remember 12000 miles okay 12000 miles they cover in each year the minimum distance okay which of the following bird is famous migratory bird in india arctic tern why i have already told so these are the selective important questions from migration okay i hope this video is helpful if you really understand this video then like this video share this video with your friends if you want more videos like that please comment below and subscribe my channel thank you very much